Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of Bonafide Bus. Today, Eric and I wanted to show you everything that goes into leaving the bus for an extended period of time. We just left to go home for the holidays. We flew back to spend time with family. And when we first started leaving the bus and flying places, it was really stressful. And we've learned a lot since we began doing that. So we wanted to show you everything that goes into it. Hi guys, we are currently en route to Las Vegas. Um, yesterday we woke up in San Diego and tomorrow we'll be in Michigan. We are gonna head home for the holidays and we're gonna leave the bus in Las Vegas for a week. There's a lot of prep work that goes into leaving the bus and flying. So basically we're gonna show you all that goes into that and how we do it. We're flying out of Vegas instead of San Diego because one, the flights were a lot cheaper, but two, when we get back on New Year's Eve, um, we're gonna take an opportunity to do a lot of desert traveling, which is something we haven't done a lot of in the bus. So we're both really excited and we're gonna explore Arizona and Utah. So you're just gonna have to see what we get into. We actually flew out of Vegas and back in on New Year's Eve, so we spent the New Year on the Strip. It was very fun and we're feeling a lot better than we deserve this morning. Um, you may have noticed in the past couple of weeks that we haven't posted any videos. Obviously that was because we were home and we were just focusing on family and friend time. But now that we're back in the bus, we're so excited for the new year because we have a lot of awesome things planned. The most intimidating but also most important part of leaving your home for an extended period of time is of course finding a place to leave it. So most recently when we flew out of Las Vegas, they had a great remote lot associated with the airport. It was about $15 a day. It came with a shuttle and there were security cameras and we felt really good about leaving it there. It felt very safe. Previously, when we've flown out of San Diego, we actually used a website called Way, and with that, different uh, companies like hotels and things like that will actually list their lots or spaces that are available for you to rent and leave your vehicle. Now, the thing with that is you have to make sure that they have oversized parking accommodations because in the past we parked at a Sheraton lot and even though we weren't supposed to have um, the availability to do oversized parking there, we spoke with somebody ahead of time and they knew we were coming and they gave us a specific spot just for us. So if you do a little digging with that and make sure you have all your ducks lined up, you should be good. All right, so we're in Vegas, and as you can see, we have a lot to do before we leave tomorrow. Like, a lot. <laughs> okay. Once you have your flight booked and a place to keep your vehicle, um, we have a list of things that we like to do so that when we're gone, we know that the bus is safe and when we get back, it's ready to go. First things first, lunch, because if we don't have food and we try to do stuff, then Sarah and I, <laughs> second, we are gonna clean up our stuff. Oh, we actually need to do a live chat. <laughs> Sarah has so many dishes that she left. Those are all Eric's. I just popped two pimples. And that's about it. So first off, laundry. It's really nice to come home to clean sheets and the last thing that we want to do when we get back is have to go to a laundromat and wash our clothes. We also make sure that we have water, we make sure all of our dishes are done, and of course obviously you can't leave trash in here because it's going to get gross and it's going to smell, so we take care of that. Um, previously, we have turned our solar system completely off and that was because we were leaving it in a hot environment and we knew it was going to be getting a lot of energy and not expending any. 
So we did not do that. The most recent time we left, we took all of our fuses out except for our refrigerator though. And the reason for that was because we have a ton of valuable condiments in there and it really stinks just having to throw all of that stuff away. Additionally, we'll do like a big general clean. So we'll wipe down all of the surfaces, sweep the floors. Generally, we spend like the entire day before our flights cleaning and the whole process just makes coming back to the bus so much more exciting and welcoming. As for the safety and security side of things, um, really our most valuable possessions are our hard drives with all of our memories on them and our camera gear and our laptops. Those are typically things that we bring with us anyways and they're not left in the bus. So that leaves our bikes in the back and then the bus itself. So when we left a couple weeks ago, I filmed Eric taking care of these things and just buttoning down all the hatches. So let's head back to a couple weeks ago. All right, so the last time we flew out of San Diego, we put the bikes in the bus. Tomorrow we're waking up at like 3 or 4 a.m., so I don't really want to deal with that. So I locked the bikes to each other with our thick metal lock. They're obviously locked to the back as they always are. And then I also threw on this cable lock that goes through both bikes and the bike racks and then hooks to our metal ladder. So you'd really have to, to struggle to get these things out. Should be fine. If not, insurance. <laughs> At least one of us is packed. Yeah, so I'm all packed up for 10 days in Michigan. I have my hard drives in here, my computer, stuff for work some clothes. I do have clothes at home that didn't make it in the bus, so that's kind of nice. Um, being able to have like just a few extra underwear, socks, sweatshirts and stuff back in Michigan. Um, but yeah, our list is getting down. I'm going to grab my surfboard up top tomorrow morning, put that in, in the bus, the nicer surfboard. We're going to take the trash out. I'll empty the toilet. And then it's basically just locking up, which we do a little extra lock up stuff. What we'll show you in the morning. But as for tonight, Sarah's going to get packed and um, probably clean out the fridge and that's about it. Good morning. <laughs> it's early in the morning. We're flying out. Last thing I wanted to show you guys is this is how we lock the bus so nobody drives it away. There's about 30, 40 windows in our bus that you could break. So no really escaping someone getting in if they wanted to but i'm gonna lock the steering wheel to the metal under the driver's seat so you'd have a hell of a time trying to drive this away <laughs> but that's the last thing on the list we're about to hop on the shuttle and we are homeward bound Locking the steering wheel might be a little bit of overkill, but there are so many windows in this bus. If somebody really wanted to get in, they could, and they can take, you know, whatever, but just having the security in our minds that it's just a little more difficult for them to drive away with our house makes us sleep a lot better at night. Lastly, we've been dabbling with air tags. So we got them originally for our bikes and we also have them hidden inside of the bus. How they work is anytime somebody's cell phone gets close to them and it has service, it bings to our Find My iPhone and lets us know the location of the air tags. So they're not really meant to be a theft prevention method. However, it is really nice when we're gone to be able to just log in to Find My iPhone and see that our bus is in fact where we left it. It bings? It bings. What is that? Thanks, baby. <laughs> We're back. We're back. Is the bus okay? I didn't see it in the lot when we pulled up. It looks like it's okay. It looks like it's okay. Ha <laughs> ha.
It took us a good amount of time to actually feel confident enough leaving the bus for an extended period together. Um, initially, like Eric would leave for a little trip and then I would leave independently for a trip, but we never actually left the bus alone. So we really hope that just giving you a few of our tips and showing you how we do that will give you enough confidence to do it yourself. It's really not that bad. Thank you guys so much for watching. Even though we've been a little MIA, we are back and we are so excited to spend 2022 with you guys.